Hey everybody, Davey here from Davey's World Fishing. Today we're gonna to talk about fishing erratic style fall jigs for giant bluefin tuna. It's Memorial Day weekend out here in Southern California and the bluefin tuna are on the chew. In fact, they've been on the chew for about a month and a half, almost two months now, crazy. And it's big fish too. You're talking a legitimate shot at a 200 pound bluefin every time you go out. Cows are coming over the rails, but a lot of fish in that 80 to say 120, 140 pound, as well as those big fish. There's gonna be some 300 pounders. You're probably gonna see another 400 pounder this year. And one of the crazy good effective ways to catch those fish is on the erratic style jigs. Now you've probably heard people say, uh, you know, fish the flat fall, fish the, uh, any of the flutter type jigs. My favorite jig is the uh, Fish Lab Carnata jig. It's a, it's a flat fall style jig. It's a, you know, Fish Lab being a new company, it's, it's their version of that style jig. Now the erratic style jigs, I don't know if you can see that there, it's got a crazy little shape to it. So it's very flat, it's a flat bait that as you drop it, it actually darts off to the side. It doesn't drop straight down like a heavy iron does. When you pitch it out there, it actually just kind of flutters. It'll fall, 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 flutter and kick out nice and wide, get back into the zone, kick out. So what that does, and when it kicks out on that erratic style fall, is you got more time within that water column. A lot of times the captain's gonna yell down at you, Go ahead and drop down. I'm seeing a lot of fish between uh, say 120 and 200 feet or 150 and 220 feet, or he'll tell you exactly where they are, 240 feet. Tough on the non-line counter style reel, but you want as much time as you can being in that water zone, right in that water column where those tuna are all schooled up and they're, they're on the move. That erratic style fall jig does just that. Now I found that the, uh, the Fish Lab, the Carnata jigs, they actually have a great kick to them. So you get even more time in that water column, which is exactly what you're looking for. Now the gear for these is gonna be heavy. You're talking big fish, you're talking uh, heavy gear, of course. So what I've got here is I've got a Makaira 30, that's the Okuma Makaira 30, spooled up with 100 pound braid. You can go 100, 120, 130, 150, as heavy as you want. But I've got a 100 pound eminent braid from Soft Steel. And I've got that matched up with 80 to 100 pound. Uh, this is the soft steel flora stretch fluorocarbon. That's the stretchable fluorocarbon. You get a little bit better knot strength and then you get a little bit of shock absorption on those big fish as well. So you're not pulling as many hooks. And I've got that paired up with the Okuma PCH. This is the seven foot four, four X. So four extra heavy rod. It's the rail rod, 150 to 200 pound rating on that rod. So those rail rods, when you see these fish, you're actually gonna, when you're loaded up, you're gonna get down, you're gonna work that rail. You're gonna have this, leaning right up against the rail and you're gonna let that rod do all the work. These are stiff, stout rods. They actually make a 2X, 3X, 4X. I think they were making a 5X. I don't know if they did yet, but there's a couple out there that do. They're broomsticks, but it's gonna have a lot of, you're gonna let the rod do all the work for you, basically what I was just saying there. So you wanna have the right gear to do this. Now the technique itself, fairly simple. There's not a lot to it. Captain will yell down and say, drop that jig down to 200 feet. All you're gonna do, get your jig, got it tied on there. You're just gonna drop it down. Drop it in a free spool, let it fall, let it fall, let it fall, let it fall, get all the way down there. And then you're gonna put it in gear, give it a couple cranks, drop it back down. It's not like a yo-yo jig where you crank, 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 because they're usually not hitting it on that fast reaction. On these uh, flutter style jigs, usually they're hitting it on the drop, the actual drop of the bait. As it's, as it's darting through, it'll dart. All of a sudden you're gonna feel it stop, just like you hit the bottom. Usually you're fishing in 1,000 feet, 2,000 feet deep, bottomless water. Drop that thing down there. Then you're gonna see it stop. You're actually gonna see your line get slack. And as soon as you see slack in your line, pop that dude into gear and just start grinding. Grind, 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 because you're hooked up. That tune has actually got that jig in its mouth and you're fighting that fish now. Once you do that, just, just wind down. You don't have to set the hook. Wind down on that thing. Those jigs are gonna get a nice corner of the mouth hook. That big hook right there, these are big beefy hooks on these things. You're gonna get it right in the corner of that fish's mouth almost every time. Sometimes they get to the top of the mouth, but right uh, right in the side of the mouth. Sometimes they're actually gonna swallow that thing. These bluefin have giant mouths, especially the big ones. Giant mouths, they'll inhale that thing. Usually it's pulling back out and then you're just gonna get that side of the mouth hook. And that's exactly what you're looking for. Bluefin, a lot of teeth in those things and they'll uh, saw right through your leader. So that's why you wanna have that heavy leader. A lot of times you're gonna be fishing these fish at night. So the heavier line that you want, you know, go as heavy as you want, heavy as you can. You'll see here people, you don't wanna be undergunned. You'll hear people say, you know, pull out the 100 pound, 130 pound, go for it, just do it. These, uh, these fish, they are not line shy. They will definitely uh, bite that line for sure. But you wanna make sure you, you have that all set up. Like I said, get it over the side, drop it down, drop it in a free spool. 
it's going to dart. You're going to feel it slow down. It's going to dart. It's going to dart. When you get down in the zone, you don't feel anything. Go ahead and wind it back up. Get it up, you know, 50, 60, 80 feet. Then just drop it back down. You don't have to crank it fast. Just drop it back down. It'll dart. It'll dart. It'll work its way through that water column, which you're looking for. A lot of times you're going to feel it stop. You're going to think it's the bottom. And then you're like, okay, well, put it in gear. Ooh, and then all of a sudden you're going to feel that tug. And that's exactly when you're bit on these, these jigs. This one happens to be a glow jig. There's a lot of great colors out there, a lot of great styles. One of the real populars right now is called the Katy Perry. That's the blue and pink. This happens to be the new uh, Fish Lab. This is the 200 gram. Uh, it's the Katy Perry colors, the blue and pink. And this is uh, their glow. This is the new Carnata Leaf Jig. So it's a little bit different shape than the flutter style, but you also have a lot of kick as this one flutters down. It's got a little bit of a wide kick as well, but uh, these guys, these are the regular Carnata, the regular Carnata jigs. These have a great kick, so it's gonna fall down and kick out. And you rig it a little bit different. So it's not like your leaf style jig where you're gonna rig it this way with your hooks on top. You actually do hook them down on the bottom. These fish are gonna come through, they're gonna bite it. And as it bites, it's gonna slide up as it comes up. And that's when you're gonna get that hook set. Very simple but a crazy good, crazy effective technique for fishing these giant uh, bluefin tuna. Like I said, have the right gear. You don't want to hook this up on your uh, your Tesoro 12 or uh, your Komodos. Although the Komodos are awesome, I love them, I fish them every day. Keep those things aside, put them in the rail. Get that heavy gear. That's the Makaira 30 right there. I've got a 100 pound braid. You go 130, 150, whatever you want to do. And then that heavy top shot, 80 pound, 100 pound, 120, whatever you want to do. If you're fishing at night, go as heavy as you can. During the day, if they're, you know, there might be a little bit more line shy, you want to go sometimes a little bit lighter. Don't go, don't go super light. Don't go 50 pound, 60 pound. Still go heavy on that. But that's your, uh, that's your flutter style jig fishing. Really effective for bluefin. You hear about it all the time. You know, give it a shot. And of course, you know, being a two-speed reel too, once you get that thing in the death circles, pop that thing at the low, then you can just grind that thing around. You can watch that giant bluefin. It's just gonna do big death circles until they get that gaff in it, or hopefully multiple gaffs if you got the right fish. I do appreciate y'all checking in. Do me a favor, hit that like button down below, subscribe to Davey's World Fishing up in that right-hand corner. We'll see you on the water.